OSEARCH really was formed because we have a crisis with our large sharks. We're down to about 10% of our large sharks primarily due to shark fin soup. Uh, we lose about 100 million sharks a year and we don't know how to manage them back. We don't know where they mate, we don't know where they give birth and where the baby ones live. And if we don't have a lot of large sharks, there will be no fish for our children to eat. They are the lion of the ocean, they are the balance keepers. So it's really about developing the fundamental data set to bring back the apex predator of the ocean so that it's full of life and abundant for our grandchildren. I do believe the whole New York, New Jersey bite eventually will identify as a birthing area, but we know that they live their first year and their most vulnerable year of their life there. And so what goes on in Jersey and how it impacts the juvenile or young of the year white sharks is fundamentally important to the entire future abundance of the whole eastern seaboard. We bring together big collaborative teams of researchers because our biggest challenges are data deficit and time. And so if we can help a bunch of scientists at the same time learn many different things, then we learn faster and we can affect change sooner and we can bring our large sharks back quicker. We've got ourselves in a situation where it's stabilized, we're making progress. Like now, it's not about proving the model, we've done it. This is our 29th expedition. It's just a matter of time and money now and we will solve the puzzle of our ocean's apex predators and we will have the data to move the system toward abundance and make sure our great grandkids can eat a fish sandwich. I mean, it's just that simple. If we don't have this data, we can't make that happen. And I'd much rather get us in a position to make things happen for our children than to just cross our fingers and hope.